hello 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 divas diamonds dolls ladies and gentlemen welcome back to my youtube channel femininity with mama gail today let's talk to the young girl hey young girl young girl dear young virgin it is a gift it is a blessing it is a powerful thing to be a virgin to stay a virgin until you are ready to give your virginity to the person that you can see yourself spending the rest of your life with. Being a virgin may be looked down upon in today's society. Oh, everybody's doing it. Oh, you're a square if you're not doing it, you know. You, you are outcast, look at you, you're different, you are misfit. What's wrong with that? If everybody else is doing something and everybody else can get sex by the dime, by the dozen, it's cheap, it's rare, why wouldn't you keep your virginity until you find the one love, the person that you want to share such a beautiful flower with flower is delicate a flower is not opened until the right time you have such a beautiful delicate treasure everybody else may be giving their flower away the leaves are falling off they're dying you know petals are dropping off the flower, the rose has lost its value because it's been so beat up and bruised by, you know, people giving away something that's so precious because they don't appreciate what they have. While you still have your virginity, and I don't care if you're 12, 13, or if you're 21, 27, 32, being a virgin is the best thing that you can be, young lady, until you decide and make the choice to give yourself to the right person. Growing up, I grew up in the projects. Everybody was doing it. Everybody was sexual. sexual. Sexuality was everywhere. Hot pants and spandex and show your shape and shake what your mama gave you and you know things of that nature growing up when i was 15 16 only thing i ever heard was oh you have the cutest shape oh my god you're shaped like a coca-cola bottle you have the cutest shape the, the smallest waistline the biggest hips and things of that nature it was always complimented for my body the way that i was shaped but nobody said to me, keep your legs closed. Stay a virgin. No, everybody said, girl, you need to use what your mama gave you. You know, you, you got a hot, you shaped like a brick house. That body can get you anything you want. Everybody was doing it. I stayed a virgin till I was 18 years old. But... I fell right into the category with everybody else. Had two kids out of wedlock. You know, I chose the first guy that I fell in love with to have sex with. I didn't, you know, we dated, went to the movies, things of that nature, but it wasn't long before we engaged in coitus, sex. After a while, maybe six months we stayed together, we were broken up. I waited a while, went to the next partner. But I say all of that to say, I didn't wait because nobody ever told me that I should have kept something as precious as my virginity. Keeping your virginity allows you to invest and wait to date to get to know to have the choice of who you decide 
you want to lose your virginity to. Not to a fool. Not to someone who's temporary. Not to somebody who just want to hit it and quit it. Not to somebody who just want to see your skills and see what you're made of. Not to someone who's going to ghost you and leave you who does not see your value. Who does not respect you. When you are a virgin, you call the shots. And you let people know. I mean, in which we all should do that anyway. But you let people know from the door. You want to date me? I'm going to tell you right now. I'm a virgin. These are my morals. These are my standards. These are my values. If you can't get with it, then you might as well quit it right now. Because I'm not going no further. Being a virgin is sacred. It is something that if you believe in God, as I do, that God ordained for us to wait until we're married. Wait until we have the right uh, partner. And even if you don't believe in God, it's still you believe in you. You love you. You value you. You treasure you. Why would you give something so precious to just anybody? Simply because everybody's doing it. Why would you give something so precious away to the first guy who comes along? And I'm sharing this with you because nobody ever told me to hold on to my virginity. If I knew what I know now, sweetness, if somebody would have told me, you have the cutest shape. You are beautiful. But you keep your virginity intact until you get married and see what happens from there. You know, show me the value of virginity. Tell me that everybody's doing it. Just because everybody's doing it don't mean that I have to engage, participate in doing what everybody else is doing. This is what makes me different. This is what makes me stand out. My morals, my values, my standards. This is what I will not do. Being a virgin and having boundaries, because that is a boundary, makes people respect you. You know. Being a virgin gives you the choice. Of who I choose, who I allow to break this. And when they break this hymen, it's going to be somebody who I know loves me, respects me, is going to be with me long term. You're probably saying, oh, Mama Gal, you know, this society messed up. I don't believe in marriage. I'm never getting married. Whether you're getting married or not, stay a virgin. Until you make the choice of who it is that you want to be with. I understand that marriages break up, that nothing is permanent, that people are not staying together. But what if your marriage does stay together? What if you wait until you find that beautiful person that you want to share your life and such a beautiful experience with. And as you do, you recognize that the two of you aren't going anywhere and you end up getting married. You know, it's still the same person that you lost your virginity to. Virginity is a precious gift. It's not to be used as a carrot to dangle over somebody's head to get money, to get clothes to get handbags to get whatever you want oh I'm a virgin if you want this you're gonna pay for it and then you hold it over their head like a carrot and try to break up with them and people are crazy because they don't invest it and spend all this money on you giving to you you're a gold digging this that and the other but you're a virgin people get hurt and people get killed doing things like that don't use your virginity to pimp people. Don't use your virginity as a weapon. Use your virginity 
to make the choice, to have the choice that I choose who I open my legs to. I'm not like everybody else. I am rare. I am different. I don't care what everybody else is doing. For those of us who are believers in God, God is well pleased with me. And he is going to bless me for making the sacrifice of holding on to something so precious and living my life in a way that is pleasing to him by not allowing anybody to just enter this temple, his temple, my temple, and give things something so precious away. Young ladies are living reckless today. Men don't value sex. Men don't value women. Men don't value a lot of things, but they will value a virgin. They do value and respect the virgin. They value you because you have standards. They value you because you have boundaries. They value you because you have choice. They value you because you're a hot commodity. They value you because you're a rare breed. They value you because they have to invest in you and be with you and want you and show you and prove to you that they are worthy of you. Anything a man has to work for and invest in, he's going to cherish it and hold on to it as long as possible. And a little tip about a man, if he has to teach you things, he'll love that because he knows that nobody else has had what it is that he has put the ring on and chose to invest in. So as long as you're open and willing to work with being shaped and molded into something that's gonna bring the two of you joy and satisfaction in the long run, you're a man's fantasy. You're his dream. You are someone who's not tampered with. Being a virgin is an asset for you. And not just because of the man, but also for you. You're not taking in different spirits. People laying on top of you, sweating on top of you, taking in different energies and things of that nature. And it's all worthless. It's worth nothing. Stay a virgin as long as you can, young girl. And even if you have had sex one or two times, lock it up. Close it down. Close your legs and decide to wait, you know, for what you want, not for somebody to choose me. Don't be a pick me girl. Pick me, pick me. Choose me, choose me. No. Be someone that he values and respects. And if you've already had sex and you're, you know, open and, you know, that's something you can't change, but you want a different outcome, start withholding. Not in a marriage, not in an already committed relationship. But when you meet a gentleman, start withholding. Say, no, I'm not ready for that. I'm looking for more than just sex. I'm looking for more than just a hookup. I'm looking for more than just somebody who's going to date me for a little while and leave. If you want me, you're going to wait for me, invest in me, and make sure that I'm ready for what it is that you want. My choice to give it to you. So dear virgin girl hold on to such a precious gift as your virginity once that flower your jewelry box has been open it will never be as valuable as it was this is femininity with mama gail don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel have a blessed and prosperous day divas Diamonds, dolls, 
ladies and gentlemen.